Hey everybody, this is Graf from Graf Storytime, otherwise known as Cod the Ranting Gamer on this account. I've already done this video quite a few times before, but some people didn't quite understand what kind of wires to use, or they didn't understand the concept at all. So, I'm, I actually took apart the entire thing, and I'm going to show you exactly which wires you will need, and where exactly they go. So, this is the S-Video wire, the silver one. It has a prong like this that I think I've demonstrated in a video before. We got this for around 20 bucks in a Radio Shack. It looks like this on both sides. Alright. Then what you're going to need is a converter, which looks something like this. I don't know where we got this from. I think it was already around the house. I'm sure it would be probably 15 bucks. And what generally you're going to do is you're going to take this part and plug it into this part. Kind of simple, right? Observe. Now they're together. Now that we have our converter in our S-Video wire, we need something like this. That looks like it plugs into the front of the TV. Right there. I'm going to let you know now, the audio one, which is the white one, you're not going to need it. All you need is the video. So it doesn't matter if you just have two yellow ones instead of just uh, the double prong thing, whatever. Yeah, but it has it on both sides. you, you got to make sure it has it on both sides. What you're going to do is, you're going to take this and plug it into the converter. Simple enough. This may be your most problem point when you're setting it up to hook it up to your TV. An old 1990s TV like this. This is actually more of an early 2000, but whatever. Same difference. Now that you have this all set up, you got to plug the S-Video, the end of the S, other end of the S-Video port. Oh, hold on, untangle on it here. Into your... In the back of my card. computer, this is the back of my Inspiron, looks like. Right here, you could. this is my graphics card. You can see I could already plug it in two monitors. But, we need to plug it into the TV. And our TV doesn't have anything like this, unless you've got a good old LCD HD TV like I do now. But, i got an old-fashioned TV. This little black spot right here is where this is going to go. Once you plug it in, oh, excuse me, it's not the bottle. Hold on, I need a bit more lighting here. Alright, it goes just straight in like this. There we go, it's plugged in. Now, what you need to do from there is this end, this black part, around to the television, which I'm going to do. Okay, now that we've fed it around, I'm going to bring it down like that. What you're going to do is, you're going to take the, the other end and just plug the video part in. The audio, as I said, doesn't matter because we don't have a converter to plug the audio in. Not that you would want to play it on your TV. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on, make sure it's on the auxiliary channel or default channel for like what you would put on as your gaming system. I already have an auxiliary. Turn this computer on. And bam. See, look. Now, it isn't straight out open up like this. That's the thing. Okay, now, what you're going to do is, um, I know, excuse my really messy desktop, it's as, almost as a, as a mess as my room is, what you're going to do is, you're going to, like, right click, and go to properties. I mean, obviously mine's already set up, but this is for your demonstration. What you're going to do is you're going to go to appearances, not appearances, what the fuck am I doing? I'm going to, you're going to go to a settings, and then you're going to go to advance. 
and from there, you're going to go to where your graphics card is. Mine happens to be an ATI, HD, Radeon, whatever, whatever. Um, you go to your control center for your graphics card. This works for pretty much all ATI graphics cards, so if you have ATI, you should be fine. And you'll get a screen like this. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we go. This is where your regular monitor would be. And this is where your um, outside display is going to be. Mine is the TV, which looks like the TV. Um, I already have mine um, set up for the display and all that. But what you would do is, after you have this all set up, like all this junk set up, and it's stuck on auxiliary, what you would do is you go over here, click Detect Displays, it would just, it, and then the um, TV should pop up over here, like a screen like this. What you would do is you would right click it, and and it would um, you could scroll down and just um, click Extend Main to TV, and then. And it would just pop it up over there. Of course, and me doing this would just screw it up. So I'm just going to click no. Put everything back to normal for me. My um, desktop display for um, the TV is set at um, 1024 by 768 at high 32-bit at 60 gigahertz or hertz or whatever you call it. Whatchamacallit. So after all that's done, you just hit OK. Hit OK. Okay.